All right, welcome back, everyone, to Self That Sleep, Exercise, Love, and Food. As always, I'm Dr. Sean Hashmi, a nephrologist and obesity medicine specialist. Now, today we're going to talk about a fascinating topic. This is one that's got the attention of athletes everywhere, all sorts of weekend warriors, fitness enthusiasts going on, and of course, medical professionals like myself. So if you're somebody who likes to run a lot or loves their endurance training going on, you'll definitely want to stick around because what we're going to focus on today is a brand new study that essentially says that if you're doing too much endurance or cardiovascular training, it can actually be bad for you. So before we go any further, I just want to remind you guys that if you appreciate the work that we're doing here at Self, please hit that subscribe button. Please turn on the notifications. And of course, share this with your friends. I would really appreciate it. So let's dive in. There's a new study called the Master at Heart Study. And what it's basically saying is it's challenging the common belief that exercise is always good for your heart. Now, In all fairness, this is a well-balanced, it's a prospected observational study. And what they were looking at was they were evaluating the relationship between intensive endurance activity and plaques building up inside your blood vessels going on. And the results are quite surprising. So before we get into the results, what did the study do? Well, the study included 191 lifelong master endurance athletes. Then there were 191 folks that basically started later on to start doing endurance activities going on. And their control was 176 healthy, but non-athletes who did a little bit of stuff, but nothing intense. And they actually had very low cardiovascular risk profiles. So in other words, you're not comparing this to sick individuals. You're actually comparing it to equivalent healthy folks going on. Now, all the participants were male and had a median age of about 55 going on. So the study found that lifelong endurance athletes actually had more coronary plaques, including more non-calcified plaques than fit healthy individuals who had a similar low cardiovascular profile. Now, the reason this matters is is these plaques that are non-calcified, they're actually considered to be less stable and they're more prone to rupture. So the thought process is, is could these lead to more heart attacks and strokes? But before we we sort of get all bent up into shape about this stuff going on and, and dive too much into it, you know, a lot of people think that with all things, there might be sort of this J-shaped idea where if you do too much of something, it might be bad. But, and this is really important, this study only looked at the relationship between exercise and plaques inside your blood vessels. It did not measure any cardiovascular events. So in other words, it didn't measure if those folks got heart attacks or not going on. In fact, if you start to look at the data, and there are so many studies, the one that was done in 2018, what they showed, and this was published in JAMA, what they showed was that cardiovascular fitness is actually inverses linked to long-term mortality. And there isn't an upper limit of benefit. In other words, the more exercise you did, the lower your mortality was. And this isn't the only study. There's so much benefits to exercise going on. So for those of you guys who love to exercise, who are fitness enthusiasts out there, what is the take-home message? Well, even though the Master at Heart study shows that there may be some concerns, think of the broader context of exercise going on. Exercise is amazing. And overall, all of the mortality studies show that really there isn't an upper limit and the more you do, the better the benefit. In fact, if anything, when we look around, there's so few people who are actually avid exercise. The majority of the folks out there are more likely to be sedentary. So we don't want studies like this to create headlines and make people scared of exercise. In fact, it's the opposite. Get up and move. If you want to know the best way to slow down the aging process, the best way to live longer, exercise. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching this. If you found this video informative, please give us a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And of course, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time.